Hey guys, I'm on my first Van Econoline meetup. Meetup in it's Van Econoline, which is crazy. And I'm really excited to see how that goes. <laughs> I'll keep you in for. I'll try to film as much as I can. Let's see how they feel about it. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you. Well, I got here and I don't know where to find them. So hopefully they answer my uh, messenger. Okay, so I guess uh, they're showing up at 2 o'clock because they actually got a campsite. They're saying check-in is not until 2 o'clock. So I'm going to walk down to the beach and enjoy this new area that I haven't been to yet. Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here hanging on, waiting for your call. This is the way that I came down from the car. It's actually not a long way. It's a very nice walk. That is the beach, but if you can see, there's train tracks. And I just saw a train passing by. There's gotta be a passage, so you don't actually have to cross the train tracks. But that's really close to the beach for a train. I could imagine those views when you're actually taking the train. This is a pretty cool spot. They, the beach is small, but this is how I like it. They have a restroom in the back. It's off season right now, so there are no lifeguards, but the water might be really cold, so that's okay. It is $15 to come in here, but I think it's worth it if it's gonna be one day. And the cool thing about it is that if you have more people in your car, it's just $15 for the vehicle. I'm really waiting for this train to pass by so I can film it for you guys. I don't know if it's gonna happen. just about to leave and man I saw lights in the back and I was like that's the train how cool is that I don't think the conductor was very happy that I was sitting so close to the train and you could feel a breeze because it was a very tall train yeah I'll go with that I think they probably don't like it very much that people can actually walk on those tracks so they have to be very careful I was waiting for it for like half an hour <laughs> so after half an hour I was like ah I'm just gonna go but little do you know as soon as I wanted to leave, the train came down. Hi everyone, the people that organized this trip, uh, I haven't heard from them in a while. It's 2.30 right now, they're supposed to show up at 2 o'clock. Haven't heard anything, so I am gonna take off. It was a great day at the beach though, I enjoyed every second of it. Getting a little chilly, so I'm just gonna go look for camp for tonight. Summer, the water feels so nice and fresh. That was a nice little one hour walk. Getting kind of hungry, so it's time for some lunch. I relocated because it was way too sunny for me to cook and I don't want to get burned like I usually do on the back. So now we have shade. 
<laughs> all right so i'm going to attempt to make something that i can't really find in restaurants because it's usually made with chicken i don't eat meat so these are the ingredients wish me luck <laughs> This is amazing. I'm so happy I made this. I should make this more often and I should have done it a long time ago. I love tortilla soup. I love the spices. Just a very good hearty soup. As you were able to tell, I uh, filled up that pot with everything that I had for ingredients. This had a little bit of room for vegetable stock, but not a lot. So it doesn't taste like a tomato soup. For my first try, I think uh, it came out really well. Things that I would change, I would probably skip the bell pepper and I would add more tortillas. <laughs> I probably have like three to four more portions left, so I made a lot, but I followed the recipe. I'm gonna be eating tortilla soup for the next few days, which is fine by me. <laughs> Check out this video if you wanna see more Van Life related content. Now I have to clean up my mess. Thank you for, <coughs> Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you guys in the next one.